Rio Net people. So uh, today um, it's half term and I'm outside alone because I have no mates. But uh, yeah, I want to film today because I've got a dead good theory for you guys. Now, last time I did the uh, Mandela effect, but this isn't a conspiracy theory. This is like a theory that I've made up on my own. Kind of like the Once Upon a Time ones, but those turned out for not be true. Go watch those if you haven't seen them already. And, um, but today I've got a Cory theory. Yeah, a Cory theory. So uh, if you guys have been watching Cory, then you'll know that um, all about the stuff that's happening, that's happening to Ken and stuff. And I was like, I was thinking, who tried to kill him? Like, most people would say Peter or like Daniel or something like that. Because one of those probably did kill him. But, right, suspect list. Feeling. He didn't do it. He had. One sec. I'm dropping all my sweets everywhere. He didn't do it. He did have motive, but he has an alibi. I don't think Daniel did it. But Amy, I reckon Amy did it. Now you know you guys are thinking like that's ridiculous. But honestly, right? I think it's I think it could be true, because Corey's good at surprising us. And also, Amy had motive, right? She went missing on the night Ken was murdered, so she has no alibi. And I seriously thought Tracy would do it. Because not even Tracy's that cold hearted. But when your daughter goes missing, stop searching for her and go kill your dad. Like, that's ridiculous. I reckon Amy did it because she had motive. She had no alibi. Why would she go missing on the exact night? I reckon she did it. I honestly do. Because, like, <coughs> like, it's not that far-fetched, honestly. Because there's a lot of stories, IRL, of kids killing the parents. So, clearly, Amy could kill Ken and be like he's an old man who's already had a stroke and shit and he's on the stairs. It's well easy for just push him down and you could kill him. So I reckon she did it. Cause like it makes sense to me that she would be the one who's kill who's trying to kill Ken. Cause like all that shit with Simon and Leanne. And so like clearly Cory well I almost fell over then. Clearly Cory would like go to like a kid psycho kind of ish line so I reckon Amy was the one who like pushed Ken down the stairs and tried to kill him and what I reckon is Ken's gonna remember that and he don't want Amy to go to juvie so he's gonna say that he fell one sec because I mean like it would make sense it makes sense to me that like Amy could do something like that. I reckon she did. Honestly. So anyway, comment down below what you guys <laughs> um your theories are. Like honestly, I reckon that that's true. I reckon Amy did actually it's a better light in here, I'm gonna say it for a sec. I reckon that Amy did actually try to kill Ken. And like it would make sense, wouldn't it? Because like she smashed up a violin and all that shit. And she's got the same grudge against Ken as Tracy has. I mean, like, Amy was there pretty much all that time and all that sh shit was going on with um, Ken, like, being a bit of a dick to Tracy and shit, which affects Amy a lot. So clearly, Amy would try to bin him, like, kill him, <laughs> pretty much. So yeah, I reckon Amy was the one who tried to kill Ken. I reckon, honestly. But like, anyway, so you guys comment down below what you think, who you think did it, and uh, we'll, fi we'll find out soon who actually tried to kill Ken, I think, anyway. Also, uh, comment down below, which do you think is more rank? Um, Bethany and Nathan or Pat Phelan and Eileen. I honestly think Pat Phelan and Eileen is clearly because I saw Pat Phelan in pyjamas which made me and my mum want to vomit. So yeah. Actually, I actually convinced this theory to my mum because like, where was Amy the night Ken like got attacked? I honestly reckon she went back to the house 
Because she went back to the house for Adam, didn't she? I thought, like, leave the money out for him. And I reckon she defo went back to the house and tried to kill him. Not Adam, Ken. I reckon that would make sense. And maybe, maybe, Adam knows and he's trying to cover it up with her. I reckon that could be defo true. Honestly. I honestly think that could be true. And am I the only one who's trying to fit ship Daniel and Sinead? You know what I mean? Like, I reckon they could go, they could be good together and shit. Although, I don't really like Sinead that much anymore, really. She's a bit of a bitch. She murdered her kid behind her husband, uh, husband, uh, boyfriend's back. It's a bit tight. But anyway, so I actually do kind of ship him though. But anyway, so yeah. So comment down below what you guys' theories are. Please give this video a like. And um, happy Easter, by the way, guys. Happy off term. I might record um, again tomorrow or whatever, but I'll definitely record on Tuesday as well, guys. So yeah, let's see if my theory is true. I don't know if it is. But yeah, also go watch my uh, other conspiracy theory videos. And uh, yeah, bye, guys.